We begin tonight with a developing story out of Waterloo. We now know two people are dead after a fire in the 5800 block of Diamond Drive. CBS 2 News reporter Jason Hackett is live on the scene right now with the latest developments. Jason. Well, Tiffany, we're out here at Southview Estates. If you take a look behind me, you can see police are still here on scene. Now, they say that the fire burned very quick and very hot. Some neighbors made efforts to help, but for the, for the two victims trapped inside, it was too little, too late. And he laid there the whole time. They couldn't get him out. They were pull, trying to pull him out. Our neighbor was trying to pull him Jody Bradley's afternoon started out innocently enough. She spent it picking flowers for a friend until the scary scene unfolded before her eyes. And then we heard someone else was in there. This has been a horrible day today. First responders were called out to the mobile home on the 5800 block of Diamond Drive around 2.30. They arrived to wall-to-wall -to -wall flames, one female victim trapped inside, and a male burning alive on the front porch. Where he laid, um, the fire was so intense that it actually uh, was coming out the front door and so he was kind of in the, in the path of the fire. His lasers were sticking out of the off the porch and he was in there, nobody could do anything. The scene caught the attention of Linda Morgan. I was driving a different route coming back from Washburn and then we saw the smoke so we pulled over. As a bus driver in the neighborhood for years, her concern immediately turned to the children she was responsible for. I just praise God my kids were okay and they weren't close, they were at least two or three trailers away. Bradley is also relieved, thinking it was her daughter's home on fire, but the images won't soon go away. I'm relieved but I'm still sad, I've still been crying all day over this, it's sad. I don't know what happened, though. So that's the question out here. What happened? Police say they don't know the cause of the fire just yet, but they say it may have burned that quickly because there was an accelerant inside. Uh, the chief says the investigation out here may take a while. We're live in Waterloo. Jason Hackett, CBS2 News.